Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we're checking out not just one, but two bins of Jurassic World figures. There are 100 Jurassic World figures in here. Let's get started with this bin on the right. First up is this hybrid Indominus Rex figure. Even got sound effects too. Plus, there's spikes that come out on its back too. This is an extreme battle damage orange Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got the battle damage all over its body and there's an action at the top of its head to activate the jaw. Next up is the Stomp and Escape T-Rex. This T-Rex has a button on its back for the jaws and you can use the tail for a stomping action. Here's another Indominus Rex figure. This one has a rubber neck while the rest of its body is a hard plastic and you can use the arms to open and close the jaws. Over here, we've got a Terran T-Rex. This T-Rex is pretty cool because it has a button that activates the tearing action with its mouth. Look at that. That's pretty intense. And there's another button on its back to activate the tail. Over here, we've got a really cool Spinosaurus figure. This figure is pretty big, and it's got some awesome coloring and detailing all over its body. And like many of the other large figures, it has a button on the top of its head to activate the jaw. This, I believe, is called the Seats Micarerum. It's got an orange and blue body with some great detailing as well. It's got tons of spikes on its head, and you can use the tail to control the mouth and the neck. This is an orange Velociraptor. It's a pretty basic figure, so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail, but it's pretty large and still pretty cool. Here is a huge Allosaurus figure. This has the classic coloring for many of the Allosaurus figures, and best of all, it's got battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. This is a T-Rex figure, but with some cool coloring. It's got the red and the black spots all over its body and the light underbelly as well. Plus, it's got an action button on its back to activate the jaw. Here's a similar T-Rex of the same size, but with totally different coloring, and actually, this one is a hybrid T-Rex because it has spines that pop out of its back, just like that. Next up is a Carcharodontosaurus figure. This figure is medium size and it has one action button on its back to activate the chomping action. <laughs> This is an Albertosaurus figure. It's got the dark green body with orange detailing, and you can use the tail to control the head and jaw on this figure. Here is a medium-sized Velociraptor figure. It's a lot bigger than many of the Velociraptor figures that I have, and I actually have a few other that are very similar to it as well. Check these out. They're all around the same size and have many of the same features. This one is a light tan with green stripes. This one's darker colored. And this one actually has some battle damage on its side that you can press. I believe this dinosaur is a Pachycephalosaurus. It's got a dark purple coloring with some detailing along the top and an action button with its tail for the head butting. Next up, we've got a smaller Indominus Rex figure with battle damage on the side that you can open and close. That's pretty cool. Plus, you can use the tail to control the head on this figure too. Next up, I believe this is the Nasutoceratops figure. It's got the dark blue body with some different coloring all throughout. It's got those huge horns in the front and two action buttons, one to lift up its head and one to swing its tail. This is a huge Pteranodon figure. It's pretty basic because it can't do a whole lot, but it has some pretty cool coloring on the wings. You can move the wings up and down as well as open and close the mouth. I've got another winged dinosaur here, but I'm actually not sure what type of dinosaur this is. So let me know in the comments below. This big dinosaur, I believe, is called an Amargosaurus. It's got two huge ridges on its neck that go all the way down its back to its tail, and it has two action buttons, one to operate the neck and one to operate the tail. Here is another huge Velociraptor figure. This one is actually Velociraptor Blue. It's got these stripes down its side, and you can move the arms, the legs, and the tail on this figure. This is the basic Scorpios Rex figure. It's got the poisonous quills on its tail, and you can move the arms and legs on this figure too. Next up is the Pentaceratops figure. 
This figure is pretty close to a Triceratops, but it's got a huge frill on the front and a ton more horns too. You can use the action button to lift up its neck and to swing its torso around too. Here's a couple more medium-sized Velociraptor figures. This first one is a dark green with black stripes. And this other one is a lot brighter and it actually has battle damage on its side as well. That's pretty cool. Plus with this figure, you can use the tail to open and close the jaw. Here is a Triceratops figure with the clay red coloring and the brown on the top. And it's got one action button to lift up the head. This next figure I believe is the Sinoceratops. Also looks quite a bit like a Triceratops as well, but again, some big differences in the front. And with this figure, you can use the tail to control the head. Next up is the giant Quetzalcoatlus dinosaur. This winged dinosaur is from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie and has a few action buttons on it. The first action button you can press to flap its wings and the second button activates its jaw. <laughs> Here's a Dimetrodon figure with the light blue-gray coloring on the sides and the giant red spine on top. Check out these smaller dinosaurs. I think these are both called Proceratops. We've got one with the purple coloring and a little bit of yellow. The other one is light green with also some yellow coloring as well. This is a dark green and light green Sauropelta with those huge spikes coming out of its back. Here is a smaller carnivore dinosaur. This is a Herrerasaurus, and it's got an action button with its tail that opens and closes its jaw. Here is a Styracosaurus figure. It's got those two super bright circles right on the front and tons of horns around its head too. Here is the Shringosaurus figure. It's pretty odd looking. It's got the yellow body with the brown detailing on top and a super long neck and some horns at the very top. This is the Miragaya figure. It's got a dark body with some lighter coloring in the back and those two giant horns sticking out of its back too. Here's a smaller Triceratops figure with battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. This is a Stigimaloc figure with the dark brown coloring on the sides and some darker detailing along the top, plus an action button to activate the headbutting action. This is a Parasaurolophus figure. This is a newer one, I think from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the light tan body with some darker detailing right along the top. Here's another Pachycephalosaurus figure with a light tan body and the darker coloring along the top and the action button on its tail to activate the head button. This is a baby Brachiosaurus figure. It can move the neck up and down as well as move the legs and open and close the jaw too. And here are two Gallimimus figures, one with a dark green coloring and one with a light tan and brown coloring along the top. We've got one more bin to go, but before we do, let's check out these brand new ones that I just bought, including this giant Dreadnoughtus figure. Let's open this one up first. All right, here is the Dreadnoughtus fully assembled. It's actually really hard to show even the whole thing on camera because it is so long. This neck is a lot longer than a Brachiosaurus, I think. Let's check out the head first. You can open and close its mouth. And you can move the neck back and forth. See that swivel right there? You can adjust the legs and you can even move the tail back and forth too. This figure is ginormous and it has some pretty cool coloring along the top and the sides as well. This next figure I think is pronounced the Rugops Primus figure. It's from the ferocious pack of Jurassic World Dominion. This is a pretty cool looking figure. It's got the dark green body with the black tail and the black detailing around its head. And you can move the legs, the arms, the neck, and the head as well. Next up is the Jurassic World Herrerasaurus figure. This figure has a lighter green body with some teal blue coloring along the top, while its face is that dark green color too. You can open and close the jaws manually, and you can move all the other limbs as well. Next is the Jurassic World Legacy Collection, Dr. Ian Malcolm. 
Here is Dr. Ian Malcolm with his fiery torch. And it also came with this small dinosaur. I can't remember the name of this dinosaur, but it's a pretty cool set. And next, we've got the Camp Cretaceous Soundstrike Pteranodon. All right, let's unfold those wings. This is a pretty big dinosaur. It's probably a foot long from wingtip to wingtip, and it's got a few action buttons as well. The first one you can press to flap its wings and get some sound effects. And the second button activates its jaw. Now let's dig into this second bin. First off, we've got an Indominus Rex figure. This figure is huge and has the classic gray coloring that you can see in the movies. <laughs> Over here is another Pteranodon figure, but this one I believe is from the Amber Collection. So it's got rubbery wings and a whole lot more detail too. <laughs> This is another huge Spinosaurus figure. This one has the green body with the light underbelly, but it's still got the red spine and the red detailing around its face too. In the back here, we've got a T-Rex figure with the camouflage coloring. That's pretty cool. And this T-Rex has two actions. You can pull up on its tail for a chomping action, or you can pull down on the tail for a roaring action. Here is a T-Rex figure from the first Jurassic World movie. It's got a rubbery tail and a chomping action when you lift up its body. Here's another T-Rex figure with the gray and brown coloring on its body. It's very adjustable with its neck and its legs and its arms. And there's the button at the top of its head for chomping and roaring. This is a Carcharodontosaurus figure with the blue coloring on the sides and the brighter detailing along its back. And it's got an action button on its back for the chomping. Next is a Stegosaurus figure with the gray blue body and the lighter underbelly. And this figure has an action button that when you press down right here, it swings its tail back and forth. Watch out for those spikes. This is an Allosaurus figure with a slide lever action on the top so you can get a bunch of different sound effects and different roaring poses too. Here is a Suchomimus figure with the blue body and the yellow detailing along the top. And this figure has one action button for the chomping. Here's one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. This figure has the red coloring on the side and the dark purple on top with an action button to activate the jaw and the neck. This, I believe, is another Cynoceratops figure. It's got the light green body with some yellow detailing on its tail and on the front as well. And when you press down on the back of this figure, it lifts its head up. This is another Allosaurus figure with different coloring. It's got the gray body with the yellow detailing. You can move all of its limbs and it has an action button on its back to activate the jaw. This is a Ceratosaurus figure with the gray coloring on the bottom and some brown and red all the way up to the top of its face. Here is one of my largest Endoraptor figures. This figure has a few different actions. First, there's a button on its tail to activate the arms. You can use the tail to swivel the torso around, and there's a button on the bottom of the tail to activate the jaw. Next up, we've got a huge Dilophosaurus figure with the bright red coloring and the even brighter frills in the front. This is a pretty basic figure though, so you can't do too much with it. You can move the arms and legs and the tail a little bit. Here is the Iguanodon figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the light tan body with some lighter striping along the top, and when you press down on this Iguanodon, it lifts its head up and down. Next up is a Cryolophosaurus figure. This figure has some darker coloring along its body. It's also got some brighter red detailing all the way up to the crown on the top of its head. And you can use the tail to swing the neck back and forth too. Way over here, I believe this dinosaur is called the Kentrosaurus. It looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but it's got these huge spikes coming out of its side. And this figure has a slide lever action on its back to swing those spikes back and forth. Here is a Triceratops figure in the brown and blue coloring. Plus you can use the tail on this dinosaur to control the neck. All right, we've got a Baryonyx figure in here. This one has the light brown and the dark gray blue coloring and there's an action button on its back to activate its jaws. 
We've got another Baryonyx figure in here, but this one is super bright. It's got the bright green coloring along its side and bottom, and the brown along the top, plus that action button to activate its jaw, too. Here's a pretty rare dinosaur. This is the Edmontosaurus. It's got some pretty cool coloring along its body, and you can use the tail to control the neck. Next up, we've got a Velociraptor from the Amber Collection. This one is the bright orange and brown Velociraptor, and it is super poseable. Here is an older Ankylosaurus figure. This one is actually a hybrid, and it has special armor plating that you can take on and off. Plus, it has an action button that when you move this leg, it swings its tail back and forth and moves its head, too. I've got a few mini T-Rex figures in here. These are also older figures from the first Jurassic World movie. They're both pretty identical, but with different coloring, and they both have the action where you can move its jaw and its neck by moving the tail around. <laughs> Looks like I've got some more Velociraptor figures in here. Check out this one. This one is dark blue, but it has the yellow and gold coloring along the top of its head. I've also got these green Velociraptors too. This one is in the sneaking pose, and this one has some really cool detailing along the top of its body. These two figures are both Dilophosaurus figures. This one is the newer figure and is a bit smaller, but it does have an action button on its tail to activate the frills and open the jaw in the front, which is pretty cool. And this older Dilophosaurus figure, I believe from the first Jurassic World movie, it's a bit bigger, has battle damage on the side, and you can use the tail to move its neck. <laughs> Here's another Stegosaurus figure. This one has the brown, tan, and green coloring, and it also has an action button that when you press down right here, it swings its tail back and forth. Looks like I've got three more Ankylosaurus figures, all with different coloring. This first one is brown and has the green and gray coloring on the top, plus with an action button to swing its tail. This next Ankylosaurus has the clay red underside with the tan and brown on top. And this third Ankylosaurus has the yellow coloring on the bottom with the green and gray on top and a slide lever action to swing the tail back and forth. Here is another Dilophosaurus figure from the first Jurassic World movie, and this figure is super bright. Plus, it has the action on its tail to move its neck up and down. Here's another giant Stegosaurus figure. This one has a softer green-blue coloring, and it has the action button that you press down to swing its tail back and forth. Here's another Stegosaurus figure, but this one has the gray, brown, tan, and green coloring all over its body. And this one actually has two action buttons. The first one moves its head up and down. And the second one swings the tail back and forth. This is a Parasaurolophus figure with the light yellow coloring and the brown stripes. And it's got two action buttons. The first moves its head up and down, and the second swings its tail back and forth. We've got some more Velociraptor and Atrociraptor figures in here. First, we've got another Velociraptor blue figure. We've also got this purple and red Velociraptor. And we've got two Atrociraptor figures as well. We've got one that's tan and in the crawling pose, and we've got a bright orange-red one with the white striping. Next up, we've got a Sauropelta figure in the clay red color that can swing back and forth, so you better watch out for those spikes. We've also got this Moros Intrepidus figure with the light green coloring and the orange on its tail, too. Here's another small Indominus Rex figure. This one also has the battle damage on its side, and you can use the tail to control its jaw and its neck, too. This is another Stigimaloc figure. This one does not have any action buttons, but you can move its legs, its arms, and its head around, too. And here is also another baby Brachiosaurus figure. This one, though, has the gray and purple coloring right along the top. And last of all is this Herrerasaurus figure with the dark blue coloring and the lighter detailing on its back and all the way up to its head, too. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are checking out my huge collection of Predator dinosaurs. And I've even got some brand new ones to unbox today. Let's go ahead and get started with the biggest one. This is the release and rampage pack with an Atrociraptor in it. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, we've got our Atrociraptor in this cage right here. You can control it with the tail in the back. 
And then we've got our character right here. And what you can do is you release the door, slides upwards, and there comes the dinosaur. Oh, look out, it's an Atrociraptor. Let's check out this dinosaur too. I love that coloring. That is super cool. And look at all those teeth too. That is awesome. And of course, it's got the DNA reader right on the top too. That is super awesome. I'm super excited to add this to my collection. Let's move on to the next one. All right, our very next brand new one is this dinosaur. I believe it's pronounced the Ragosaurus. Let's open this up and see what it can do. All right, here it is. Let's pop that tail on. That was easy. All right. So this dinosaur has some pretty interesting coloring. It's mostly dark brown, and then it's got that speckled blue right on the top right here. And it's got an action. Let's see what it does. You ready? Here we go. All right, comes with its own sound effects too, with a chomping action. That is super awesome. And we've got another brand new dinosaur. This is a Velociraptor from the Hammond collection. That is super cool. Let's see what this Velociraptor looks like. All right, so here it is. Let's pop that tail on. Wow, this tail is a lot more adjustable than the other Velociraptor tails that I have. And check it out. This Velociraptor is super poseable, a lot more poseable than most of the Velociraptor figures that I have. Look at that, you can move its arms and its knees, its elbows. You can rotate its head around, up and down. That is super detailed. And the coloring on this is really cool. It's darker than most of the other Velociraptors that I have. So this one will look super cool with my collection. All right, let's dig into the rest of these dinosaurs. Let's start with this humongous Indominus Rex right here with battle damage. You can see it right there and you can flip it on and off. That is so cool. The arms are adjustable and you can control its jaw too. Right, right up front here, we've got a massive Tyrannosaurus Rex with camouflage coloring. That is pretty cool. I think this is one of my favorite T-Rexes that I have actually because of how camouflaged and how perfectly it would blend into the jungle. So you wouldn't even know it's sneaking up until it's too late. Watch out! Got another huge predator dinosaur right here. This is the Spinosaurus. And look how narrow its head is. And all those teeth in the front. Spinosauruses actually like to eat fish and stuff like that, which is pretty interesting. Ooh, here's a super bright dinosaur. This is the Cryolophosaurus, and it's got tons of sound effects too. And look at that interesting crown on its head. It's like bright orange. That's so interesting. Right over here, we've got a brightly colored giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at this one. It's kind of like spotted too. Got an action button right up the top here to operate its mouth. That is super awesome. This is a very unusual colored Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, check out this ginormous one that we've got right in the front up here. This is a Mosasaurus. I bet you recognize this from the Jurassic World movies. This is a huge dinosaur that lurks beneath the waters. So you better watch out whenever you go swimming in deep waters if you're in the Jurassic world. All right, we've got a bunch more Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Each of them have their own unique function. Look at this one. It's got a button up top, you press it, and it does a tearing action with its jaw. And it's got a tail sweeping action too with a button back here. That is so cool. 
Up next, we've got a brown Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one has a button right up top, right on top of its head to operate the jaw. That is so cool. And this one is fully posable as well. And I love the detail to its skin all over. That is so cool, super realistic. Up next, we've got an orange Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage. Look at that right there. It's all over its body. That is so cool. Even on its tail too. And just like the last Tyrannosaurus Rex, this one has a button up top for the roar function. Wow, look at that tongue and those teeth too. Here is another giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I believe that this one is from the Dominion line as well from Jurassic World. This is super cool. Look at this button on its tail. You press that. Wow, check out that roar. And check out how big it opens its jaw too. That is huge. And just like our other T-Rexes, you can wiggle the tail and it moves his head too, which is pretty cool. All right, let's keep digging for more predators. This is the mighty Carnotaurus. Check out those horns on the top of its head and look at the size of this body too. That is one massive dinosaur. Up next, we've got another Indominus Rex. This one's a little bit smaller than the last one we saw. And it comes with some battle damage too. Look at that, you can open it and shut it to hide the battle damage. And when you move the tail, there goes the chomping action too. This predator is an Allosaurus and check out that awesome blue coloring on its back. It's got the darker blue on the rear and then a lighter blue on its neck and its head. And this dinosaur has a chomping action too. And right over here, this is an awesome colored dinosaur. Look at all that red. This is a Ceratosaurus. And look at that horn right on the tip of its nose too. That is pretty awesome. And this dinosaur also has a chomping action. Up next, you better hope that you don't find this dinosaur in the water. This is a Sarcosagus. Look at that super long mouth and that huge snout right on the end. Look at all those teeth too. That is so cool. And right over here, we've got the mighty Albertosaurus with battle damage. You can even move its ribs up and down and completely cover it. Or if you wanna see the stomach or whatever that is in there, it's kind of squishy. You can also open it all the way, just like that. Look at that battle damage on its leg too. That is so cool. All right, here is one of what I think is the most scariest of dinosaurs. This is the Scorpios Rex. This toy has the roar action and a slashing action with its hands. Check out those huge claws on its feet. And of course, the poisonous quills on its tail. <laughs> Up next, another predator. I think this one looks like a Ceratosaurus, don't you think? Because of that horn right on the tip of its nose again. But this one's colored very differently. This is like a brown with like orange speckles on it. Check it out, that is so cool. <laughs> Let's keep digging. What else do we have in here? Oh, look at this one. I believe this is a Carnotaurus, but it is colored way differently than the other ones that I have. I think it's a Carnotaurus because of those two horns on its head right there. But I love the coloring on this. It's like striped and it's got those bumps all along its skin too. That is super cool. Wow, look at this one. This is ferocious looking. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it looks like an endoraptor. Don't you think? Definitely looks sneaky. 
And another one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Great Velociraptor. And this one is super poseable too. Check it out, you can move basically every limb on this dinosaur. And open and shut its jaw as well. All right here, we've got another mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one has unique coloring. I don't have any others that have the black striping on the top like this. And this one is more of a model, so you can't move any of the limbs or the mouth or anything like that. So this dinosaur would look great on your collection shelf. Oh, what's this right here? This is a different looking dinosaur. I think it's a T-Rex, but it looks to be battery operated. Let's see what it does when we turn it on. Oh, it's a walking T-Rex. I can hardly keep it in my hands. That's pretty cool. And I think you can open and shut its jaw too. Look at that, there you go. There's still so many predators left. Check this out. This is another Allosaurus with different coloring. This one is pretty cool. And look at that interesting thing right above its eyes. That is super cool. And of course, it's got a chomping action. Better watch out. Ooh, look at this one. I believe that this is actually a baby Giganotosaurus. You can tell it's not an adult size yet. And it has some features that make it look like more of a juvenile dinosaur. But that is pretty cool still. And it's got the movable jaw as well. Right over here, wow. This is an interesting looking dinosaur. It looks kind of like a T-Rex. But look, if you look closely, it kind of looks like it has feathers all over its body, especially on its head right there too. That is super interesting. I actually don't know what type of dinosaur this is. Let me know in the comments if you know what type of dinosaur this is. Wow, check this one out. This is a good old fashioned T-Rex, but it is a bright blue and gold color. It's got the movable jaw too. And this is an awesome collector's dinosaur right here. This is so cool. Look at this. This is a super realistic Indominus Rex. This is different than the other ones that we have because look how detailed it is. All over its body, it's got so many different colors in there and the spikes on its back are a lot smaller and its face looks a lot meaner too. At least I think so. Here's another brightly colored dinosaur. This looks kind of like a Velociraptor, but I'm not quite sure. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Comment below if you know. All right, another Carnotaurus, but look, this one has one of its horns broken right off. It must have been damaged while in battle or something. Oh, here's a really cool looking Velociraptor. Super detailed, like some of the other models that we've seen. We've got that bright blue stripe all along its body and you can open and close its mouth and adjust the arms as well. That is so cool. Better watch out for this dinosaur. All right, another T-Rex, one of the mightiest predators. This one is an awesome green and yellow color and it's got like gold feet and gold hands it looks like. This is another super detailed model that you can put up on a shelf. Oh, right over here. We haven't seen this predator too much in this hall yet. This is a Dilophosaurus. You better watch out for these. These are super vicious. All 
All right, another Velociraptor. This one is a bright green color and you can open and close its mouth and adjust the arms and legs too. This is a super cool action figure. We've got a few really cool looking Atrociraptors right here. Look at this one. This one is super mean looking, super hungry, I think. And then we've got a bright orange Atrociraptor as well. Better keep your eye on this one. Up next, we've got the Herrerasaurus with a super narrow face. And right over here, we've got the great and mighty Monolophosaurus. And look at that nose too. That is one of the distinct features of this dinosaur. Just a few more left. Here is a super awesome colored Velociraptor. It's like a dark brown, almost purple in real life kind of. And then the bright orange on top. This is so cool. And this is, well, I'm actually not sure what this is. What do you think it looks like? Let me know in the comments below. Here is our last mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex of the Hall. Super cool, black stripes on top, green on the sides. And our last dinosaur is the Great Spinosaurus with battle damage. Super cool. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out this huge collection of dinosaur toys that I have on my shelves right here. Let's go ahead and start right over here with the Tapehara. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a little winged dinosaur. Look at that, that is pretty cool. But what I'm most excited to show you is this giant T-Rex right here. Look at the size of that thing. And it's custom color too. Up next, we've got a little Chialingosaurus right here. It's a cute little guy, you know? Beside it, we've got this nice little Indominus Rex here. It's like a little baby Indominus Rex. And its mouth opens and closes too. And then right beside it, We've got Mama Indominus Rex. Wow, look at the size of that thing. And it's even got a stomach compartment so you can actually feed the dinosaur other smaller dinosaurs. And right beside it, we've got another gigantic T-Rex. Look at that. This is so cool. This is such a huge dinosaur. And right beside it, we've got a little dinosaur called the Shringosaurus. Check out those horns. It's a funny looking dinosaur, don't you think? Over here, we've got this cool rubbery Indominus Rex. It's got this rubber skin texture that makes it feel kind of like a real life skin, you know? And right beside it, we've got one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. Look at how ferocious they look and those huge horns on top. Up next, we've got another massive T-Rex. Look at the size of that compared to the dinosaurs beside it. And this one's a cool gray color too. And look at those teeth. Those are some huge teeth. Moving on, we've got a little baby Triceratops right here. Look how cute he is. And he's got the battle damage on the side as well. And right beside it, we've got another vicious red dinosaur too. This 
is an awesome colored dinosaur. Check that out. And at the very end of the shelf here, we've got a cute little Gallimimus. Isn't that cute? Moving on to the next shelf, we've got this giant Quetzalcoatlus. Look at the size of this thing. Those wings are huge. Up next, we've got a Mama Dilophosaurus and a Baby Dilophosaurus still inside the egg. Moving on over here, we've got this awesomely covered sarcosagus. And over here, we've got this yellow dinosaur with the red top and that huge horn, but I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. Do you know? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? On our next shelf, we've got this awesome looking triceratops. Look at the size of those horns and all those little horns along the edge too. Right beside it, we've got this cute little ankylosaurus right here. And up next, we've got this massive Ceratosaurus. Let's see what kind of noises it makes. Wow, that is super amazing. Right next to it is a dinosaur called the Calovosaurus. This is a smaller dinosaur, but look at that coloring too. I really like that yellow and blue combination. Up next, we've got the Aranosaurus, and it's got a button right here. Let's see what happens. That is super cool. That is awesome. On to the next shelf over here. This is a Dracorex. It's a smaller dinosaur, but check out all those spikes on its head right there. And right next to it, we've got another big dinosaur, the Cryolophosaurus here. Look at that yellow coloring with the orange on top. That is super cool. Right beside it, We've got a giant Pteranodon. Look at the size of this thing. It has to be like a foot wide with the wings. And the final dinosaur on this level is the Suchomimus. <laughs> Moving down to the next shelf, we've got a huge Indominus Rex. Look at this. And he's even got space inside the mouth that you can fit dinosaurs in. Right beside it, I've got a little Herrerasaurus. This is a little guy, you know, but it's still a pretty cool collectible. And of course, one of the most popular dinosaurs, the T-Rex. And right beside it, we've got one of the largest ocean dinosaurs, the Mosasaurus. This is a super cool dinosaur. And I love having this one on my shelf. All right, let's move on. Oh, over here, check this out. This is a Scorpios Rex. Wow, that is super cool. Right beside him, we've got Owen from the Jurassic World movies. Say hi, Owen. <laughs> Up next, we've got this beautifully colored Narsudoceratops. And I think the horns on this guy is even bigger than a Triceratops. Look at that. And over here we've got this little T-Rex. It's green colored, but it has the battle damage on the side too. And right beside it, we've got the Carcharodontosaurus. And it has an action button. That is super awesome! And the last one on this shelf is a Dilophosaurus with that super bright coloring. <coughs> Up next, we've got another giant Indominus Rex. But check this one out. This is a hybrid Indominus Rex. Look at that coloring and the spikes and the gold on its claw. And it's got this button right here. That is so cool. Right beside it, I've got this little Gallimimus dinosaur. And right next to that, the Albertosaurus. And this dinosaur has battle damage as well. Check that out. Moving on, we've got a huge Stegosaurus right here with those massive spikes on its tail right there. And the last one on this level is the beautiful Concava Nodder. Look at that bright red on its back and that purple right on its face too. And it's got an action button. Let's see what happens. 
All right, moving down a level. Here we go. All right, another giant Mosasaurus. Everyone watch out. And over here, we've got another small water dinosaur. This is called the Plesiosaurus. Right beside it, this awesome T-Rex. And look at this button on it. Look at what it does. Wow, look at that roar action. That is so cool. And in the middle shelf, we've got a Baryonyx right here. Oops, I knocked over this guy. This one is a Pachycephalosaurus. And another T-Rex. Look how giant these are compared to the other dinosaurs. That is so cool. And right next to the T-Rex, I've got this awesome colored Dimetrodon. Look at this. Look at the size of that spine on its back too. And over here, oh, do you see that? It's a Velociraptor. Look out, oh no. And over here, perched on its rock, is a Pteranodon, one of the coolest flying dinos. At least I think so. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. We've got this awesome looking Baryonyx. Look at that. And right beside it, a cute little Stiggy Moloch with battle damage on the side. <laughs> Over here, we've got a giant Stegosaurus. Look at the size of this thing compared to the Stiggy Moloch. That is huge. But wait, you haven't seen huge until you've seen the next one, which is the giant Spinosaurus. Wow! This dinosaur is so cool. And the final dinosaur on this level is the great Carnotaurus. Everybody watch out! All right, let's move down another level. This is the final level and it has some more giant dinosaurs like this giant Apatosaurus. Look at the size of this guy. Right beside it, I've got this awesome blue Velociraptor. Look at the coloring on him. And right beside it, we've got another giant Spinosaurus. These are so cool. I love the coloring on their spines. But wait, there's even more. Look at this giant Velociraptor. This is huge, it's probably two or three feet long. And right below it, we've got Blue the Velociraptor as well. Moving on to the next shelf here, what do we have? We've got a giant Carnotaurus, look at those horns. And it's even got some battle damage as well, look at that. And with this dinosaur, you can actually feed it smaller dinosaurs, and it has a stomach compartment at the bottom too. That is super cool and a baby Carnotaurus, look at that. Over beside it, we've got a family of Brachiosauruses here. Look, here's the first baby, and here's the second baby, and then we've got the mama Brachiosaurus right here. This one is huge. But check out beside it on the next shelf, this is a giant T-Rex, and look at all the battle damage that it has on its neck and on its face too. Look at the size of those teeth right there. Some of them are broken because this is an old toy, but this is still a really cool looking T-Rex. And look at that, right next to it, we've got a smaller T-Rex, ready to fight as well. And right beneath it is another dinosaur that I would not want to mess with in the wild because of the size of these spikes. This is the Sora Pelta. And last but certainly not least is this giant Velociraptor and this tiny little Dimorphodon on top. But check out this Velociraptor. Look at those teeth in its mouth. And just like the other giant dinosaurs I have, this Velociraptor has a stomach compartment, so you can actually feed it small dinosaurs, and it goes all the way down to its stomach where you can take them out again. That is super cool. All right, that is all the dinosaurs that I am currently displaying on my dinosaur shelves. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these dinosaurs, and I can't wait to see you next time when I show you even more.
Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, I'm going to show you a huge collection of Jurassic World figures. Let's start with these brand new, and I've actually got this giant one right here. Let's open it up. This is a ginormous Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got the foot stomping action. And it's got a roar with a button as well. Let's check that out. That is so cool. Plus, this set comes with a cage that you put around its head that it can break free from. Let's go ahead and put that on and check out the action. All right, so here is the trapped T-Rex, but I think he can break free. Let's see him try. Ready? Three, two, one, break free! Wow, that is so cool. I love that action. I've got a few more brand new ones to add to my collection, starting with this one. This is the Tanistrophius. Let's go ahead and open this up. And let's check it out. Wow, look at that really long neck. And I love the coloring on this. This is like a bright blue color. I don't have that many dinosaurs that are colored like this. <laughs> and that really long neck leading up to this awesome face right there. Look at those teeth too. <laughs> and I believe this one has an action as well. If you move the tail, <laughs> then the neck moves up and down. That is so cool. <laughs> And I've got another brand new dinosaur to add to my collection. This is the Styracosaurus from the Fierce Force Collection. Let's check this out. So this looks kind of like a Triceratops, you know? But it has a lot more horns. And this one has an action as well. If you move the tail, then the head goes up and down. And I really like those, uh, it's like a glowing yellow and orange right there on the front of its head. All right, which one should we do next? I think we should do this awesome Indominus Rex. Look at the coloring on this. This is so bright and so cool looking. It's got the blue belly with the purple on the side and on the top. And then it's got that black ridge all the way down with the orange outlining it. This is a really cool Indominus Rex and it has two actions. You've got the button on the tail for the roar. And you've got a button up top here for the slashing action. That is so cool. Look at all those teeth. Up next, right in front here, we've got a giant Spinosaurus. Look at the blue coloring on its spine and look at all this brown and tan. I think that this would blend into the jungle really well. This one would sneak up on you and it would pounce on you before you could even know it's there. This is a really cool figure. And right over here, we've got one of my favorite T-Rex figures. This one is different from all the others because it has this green and brown coloring all over it that'll make it blend into the jungle more than any of the other T-Rexes that I have. And it has some action buttons as well. It's got the foot stomp right here. And if you move the tail, it'll move its head too. That is super cool. The coloring and detail on this Tyrannosaurus Rex is super realistic. Over here, we've got another Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one is like a brown orange color. The legs move, the tail moves, the arms, and look at all the battle damage all over it. It's got it on its leg, on its tail, on its side, and I really like the ones on its face too. It makes it look a lot more tough. Look at that. That is so cool. Uh-oh, better watch out. Here comes another Indominus Rex. This one is a normal colored Indominus Rex, but it still has the same awesome action buttons like we saw on the blue Indominus Rex. Got the roar, 
And you've got the slashing action. That is so cool. And look at all these spikes and bumps on its back too. This Indominus Rex is huge. Uh-oh, you better watch out. Here comes one of the biggest ocean monsters that we saw in the Jurassic World movies. This is the Mosasaurus. Look at the size of its mouth. That is huge. And all those teeth. If you saw this in the ocean, you better get away fast. All right, we've got another Spinosaurus with different coloring. This one is green and red, and I think would blend into the jungle just as well as the other one, probably. Maybe not with the red, but who knows? It's still got the same awesome action button for its jaw. And you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail as well. This is a really cool Spinosaurus figure. Over here, we've got another super cool Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one though, has the battle damage that you can turn on and off. Check it out with this button right here. That is so cool. So when you're playing with another dinosaur and the other dinosaur comes along and it bites him on the side, you can turn on the battle damage just like that. That is super neat. And of course, we've got a Carnotaurus right here. This is like a red and orange dinosaur with a brown on top with all those little spikes. That is so cool. And up, <laughs> he's a loud dinosaur. And up top here, you can see that it's got those two huge horns. You better watch out for this one in the jungle. All right, let's keep digging. Over here, all right. This is a Scorpios Rex from the Jurassic World movies. Look at those poisonous spikes. I think they're quills actually on its tail and it's got two action buttons. Look at all those teeth right there. And the second action button is for the arms. Also, look at that massive claw on its foot. That is so crazy. All right, right here, we've got a giant winged dinosaur. This is the Quetzalcoatl, or I think that's how you pronounce it. But this is a huge flying dinosaur, and it's got two action buttons right there on the top. Let's see what they do. The first one flaps its wings like that. The second one moves its beak up and down. That is super cool. This is a huge flying dinosaur figure. Oh, look at this right over here. One of the coolest dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World movies, the Endoraptor. On this figure, the jaw doesn't open and close, which is a bit of a bummer, but you can still move its arms and its legs and its tail as well. And look at that detail of the gold stripe down its side. Check it out. We've got two more Scorpius Rexes right here in the back. Look at this. One of them is a bit smaller than the other. This one has the action buttons just like we saw before. And this one, the smaller one, doesn't have the action buttons, but it still has the same coloring and those poisonous quills on its tail. All right, let's keep digging around. Let's see. All right, here is an Allosaurus. Look at that action. That chomping action right there. That is so cool. This is a gray dinosaur, and it's got those yellow markings all along its back and tail. And it's quite movable as well. You can move all the parts of its body. All right, here we've got an Ankylosaurus with battle damage. This Ankylosaurus has an action as well. If you move its leg, then its tail will move back and forth for hitting its opponents. And its face will move up and down too. That is super cool. And I love that battle damage. That's a cool little detail there. 
All right, we've got another vicious endoraptor. This one has a mouth that can open and close and its entire body basically can move as well. It is fully adjustable. So this is a great model to have up on your shelf. And once again, that gold stripe all the way down its body. That is so cool. All right, here we've got what I believe is a Ceratosaurus. It's got that big horn on the front and all those tiny little, I think they're like spikes or bumps right along its spine. And it's got an action button as well. Wow, that is super scary sounding. All right, here we've got one of the most popular dinosaurs from the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park movies, the Velociraptor. And this figure is super poseable. Look at that, you can move its legs in any direction. Even its claw right on its foot can go up and down. This is a great super poseable Velociraptor. <laughs> Up next, we've got a miniature Spinosaurus with battle damage and an action as well. You move the tail, the head can move as well. You better watch out for Spinosauruses whenever you're near water because these dinosaurs are known for hunting for fish. That is super cool. All right, we've got another Velociraptor right here. I think I got a few more in here. Oh yeah, here is Blue the Velociraptor and it's got the battle damage too. That is so cool. But this yellow Velociraptor actually has a spring jumping action like that. Look at with its legs, they're spring loaded so that it can leap up into the air. You ready? And back into the bin. This is a super cool Velociraptor and super bright. Oh, look at this super bright dinosaur. This is so colorful, bright blue and the dark blue and gold as well. This, I believe, is a hybrid dinosaur, I think between a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops. That is so cool. And it's got the battle damage too. Right over here, we've got a miniature Mosasaurus. We saw the big version of this, and now here is a smaller toy version. But this one comes with the battle damage. Look at that, you can even see some bones in there too. And look at this one. This is a baby T-Rex. Look at that, it looks a lot like an adult T-Rex. Still has the same stance and overall form, but it's just a lot smaller and it looks like a baby in some ways. And it's got the action as well. Check this out. We've got another super poseable Velociraptor. Look at how you can pose its arms and its legs and its head and even its neck too. You don't see that very often in figures. And look, look at those claws again. You can move them up and down, just like how they do in real life. Here, we've got another Ankylosaurus, I believe. Look at all that armor plating, and it's got the spikes on the side as well. And it's got an action button right here. When you press it, there goes its tail. You better watch out. You do not want to get hit by that tail. All right, look at this one. This is a Metriacanthosaurus. This is a super bright red dinosaur and it's got those black stripes all along its back and its tail as well. And it's even got a little bit of like the orange yellow on its face too. And it's got the action button. This is the Edamontosaurus. Look at that. Yellow up top, 
and the blue along its head, and it's a super colorful dinosaur. Do you think that this would blend into the jungle still though? Let me know in the comments below. Look at this giant dinosaur. This is an Asutoceratops. And check out those giant horns. They kind of look like the horns of a bull, don't you think, in a way? That's really cool. And we've got the action buttons up top as well. This is a massive dinosaur. You better stay out of the way of this one or he might stomp on you. Oh, we've got another Allosaurus right here, but this one looks different than the last one that we saw. This one is blue up top and then a tan on the sides and the bottom. And we've got the action buttons. Let's see what they do. That is super cool. Here we've got a tiny little Stygimalock with a super hard head and the spikes and with the action as well so it can headbutt other dinosaurs to defend itself. And here we've got two differently colored Gallimimuses. We've got a bright orange one here and then a, like a blue gray Gallimimus right here. Oh, you know what? We've got another Gallimimus in here. I miss this one. This one also has different coloring. Look at that blue and red up top and the orange sides and the orange tail as well. Just a few dinosaurs left. Here we've got a baby Ankylosaurus. Look at that. It still has that hard covering up top to defend itself against predators. Oh, right here, we've got two twin dinosaurs. These are the Ornitholestes. And they're both brown with the yellow striping on top and a little bit of orange on their face right there. Here we've got a bright green dinosaur. This is the Sauropelta. And check out those massive spikes on its back. I bet those are for defense against predators. And here are our last two dinosaurs. This is the Herrerasaurus. With the battle damage on the side too. That is so neat. And this gray dinosaur is the Trudon. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And I've even got some brand new dinosaurs to unbox. Let's start with the biggest one, the Tyrannosaurus Rex Thrash and Devour. All right. Here is the new Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it does have some action buttons as well. You can see on the tail right here. What does that do? All right. That activates the jaw. I do see something right here. That is the barcode that you scan with the Camp Cretaceous app to find out more about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That is super cool. The old ones have the sticker on the bottom of their feet, but now they're doing this little DNA barcode. That's really cool. And of course, you can move the tail and it moves his head as well. Check that out. And look at that. I bet you can fit some tiny dinosaurs in its mouth. 
got enough room in there to fit a few to swallow. All right, I've got two more brand new toys to unbox still. Which one to open first? Let's go with this one. This is the Scorpio Venator. That is crazy. I haven't seen a dinosaur that looks like this before. Let's open it up. All right, here is the Scorpio Venator. Let's go ahead and put that tail on. And it just clicks in like that. And there we go. Wow, look at the face on this dinosaur. Kind of reminds me of a Carnotaurus in a way. But I love the coloring on this one. It's like that uh, mustard yellow and it's got that gray top. And look at all those horns on top as well. Oh, and he comes with sound effects too. Let's see what else he can do. So his head moves up and down, we're chomping. And he's got that DNA barcode to scan on as well. And look at those tiny little arms. So this is a massive chomping dinosaur. Look at this chomping action. And look at all those teeth too. This is a huge jaw. You got those yellow glowing eyes. This is a pretty cool dinosaur. I am super excited to add this to my collection. All right, our next brand new dinosaur. It is a good old Triceratops from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Let's open it up. Let's put that tail on. Clicks right in, nice and easy. All right, here is our Roar Strikers Triceratops. Oh, that's really cool. Look at how its head moves, as if it's like stabbing another dinosaur or something. It's mostly green, so it'll camouflage into the jungle really well. And it's got those, uh, it's like brown red stripes on the top. It's a really cool detail. Look at the size of those horns, too. Super awesome. All right, now on for the rest of the Dominion dinosaurs. This is an Indominus Rex. And it's custom colored, too. You won't see these colors in the movie, but it's still an awesome Indominus Rex. Look at those orange stripes all along its body. It's got the purple and the blue. This one is so cool. It's one of the most colorful dinosaurs that I have. And look at that. You could probably fit some mini dinosaurs in this dinosaur's mouth too. I think there's enough space in there. That is really cool. And it has a claw slashing action as well. Better watch out for the Indominus Rex. And right in the front up here, we've got the almighty Giganinosaurus. This is even bigger than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I believe it actually runs even faster than a T-Rex too. Do you think that a T-Rex would stand a chance against one of these? Let me know in the comments below. All right, we've got a lot more big dinosaurs in here. This is the Spinosaurus. And this is a classic coloring, I think, because it's got the green on the sides that blend into the jungle, and then the red striping on the top. This dinosaur is gigantic, and they actually swim in the water too. These dinosaurs were known to go fishing in the water. How cool is that? All right, we've got a lot more T-Rexes in here. Here is one that's really poseable. You can twist its neck around, and of course he's got the tiny little arms, movable legs, the tail is fully adjustable as well. Detail in its mouth as well. It's got that tongue and all those teeth. Over here we've got another massive Tyrannosaurus Rex. Check this out. 
wow, look at that tearing action. That would tear the meat off any dinosaur. And the second action is with its tail. Press this button right here and it'll like swing its tail and hit any dinosaur that's trying to attack it. That is super awesome. Uh-oh, you better watch out. Here is another Indominus Rex. This one, unlike the one that we saw earlier, has more traditional coloring. So it's the gray all along its body. And look at those teeth too. Those things are so huge. And of course it's got the spikes along its back. And it's got that slashing action. You better watch out. Check out this T-Rex over here. This T-Rex has battle damage. You can see it's hidden on its side right there. But when you press this button up top, watch, ready? Three, two, one. Battle damage on both sides. That is super cool. And this T-Rex has a mouth that will stay open even without pressing a button. So you can pose it with its mouth open on your shelf like that. That is super cool. Oh, look at this one back here. Another gigantic Spinosaurus. And this one has way cooler coloring. Look at all the different colors on its body. And of course, the green eyes. That's the most brightest part of this dinosaur. Those are some filthy teeth. This dinosaur needs to brush his teeth. Let's keep going. This is another T-Rex. <laughs> this one also has a button on the head that you can press to open its jaw. That is really cool. And of course you've got the movable legs, the arms, the neck, and the tail. All right, another T-Rex. This one's a bit different though. Got a button right here that's kind of hidden. Let's see what happens when you press it. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't think I have another T-Rex that's animatronic that moves its neck like that. That is super cool. And you'll see that it's got these wheels on its feet. So you can actually roll it around. This is a lot different than the other T-Rexes that I have, but it's still an awesome addition to my collection. Look out, I see a ferocious dinosaur in here. It's the Scorpios Rex. Well, look at all those teeth. You've got an action button for slashing. And like you may already know with the Scorpios Rex, the quills on its tail are actually poisonous. So you better watch out for those when he's attacking you. And you can actually swing the tail back and forth. Let's keep digging. All right, right here we've got a Carnotaurus. Look at those little horns on its head. Look at that battle damage on its side right there. That is so cool. And on the tail, you can move its neck and head. So it looks really lifelike. Better watch out. Here comes the Carnotaurus. Ooh, here's a dangerous dinosaur. This is the Dilophosaurus. Better watch out when it sticks out its frills. That might mean he's gonna attack. Oh, look at this one right at the top here. This is a T-Rex with extreme battle damage. Look at this. You can like take it almost all the way apart and reveal the inside. That is so cool. This is a Cryolophosaurus. Look at that head. That is a super cool head. 
super decorative and kind of intimidating at the same time. And you can use its tail to control its head. Alright, here we've got a Baryonyx with battle damage. Look at that, right on its neck you can see it's been hurt while it was fighting and on its leg as well. And this dinosaur has an action button. Let's try it out. And I think we've actually got another Baryonyx in here without battle damage. Look at that, totally different coloring. It's got that bright blue on its neck and its head and it has a different action button as well. Let's see what happens when you press this. That is super neat. It's got a bunch of different sound effects and it actually slides up and down to different positions so you can have its mouth open or all the way closed. All right, right here we've got a Metriacanthosaurus. This one is like a bright yellow and green coloring and it's got an action button on the top as well. You better watch out for this dinosaur. He looks a little hungry. Oh, look over here. We've got a massive Stegosaurus and it has some action buttons as well. If you press this up here, and it actually swings its tail back and forth. You better watch out for those spikes. Those are some huge spikes. I think this dinosaur blends into the jungle really well. Got that brown bottom for the dirt on the jungle, and then you've got a green top to blend into the bushes and the trees. That is super cool. Ooh, I see a cool dinosaur right up top here. You better watch out. This is the Therizinosaurus. Look at those huge claws on its hands. Those would really hurt during a battle. And it's got this long neck leading up to its face. And with this toy, you can open and close its mouth. And this dinosaur has some pretty sinister looking coloring, don't you think? It's got that darker colors on the top and on its side. And then it's got that red all along its face and neck and even on the tail too. I would be super scared to run into this dinosaur in the wild. Oh, look at here. We've got another giant Carnotaurus. And this one has a chomping action. Let's check that out again. That is super cool. We've got the movable tail and legs and those teeny tiny little arms up front. Let's keep going, we've got a lot more dinosaurs to go. All right, this one is an Allosaurus. Look at the coloring, it's like speckled with the white and the red on the top. And it's got this awesome action button. And some massive roars too. Here we go, we've got another super dangerous dinosaur, another Scorpios Rex. You better watch out. It's got all those teeth in the front again. With this toy, the jaw doesn't open, but it still has those massive claws and of course the quills on its tail. Right over here, this is another cool looking dinosaur. I'm actually not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. I think it's an herbivore. But let me know in the comments if you know what type of dinosaur this is. Let's see what action it does with this button right here. All right, so it's got some running. That is super cool. I bet this is a super fast dinosaur. All right, I think this is another Baryonyx. Look at those teeth. And this one is a green color and the brown on the top. That is super cool. Up next, we've got a giant Velociraptor. And this one is super adjustable. So this one is perfect for posing on a shelf. Look at all the limbs that you can move. You can bend its knees, its elbows, its shoulders, its neck. This one is super cool, super posable. All right. 
right, here we go. This is another Spinosaurus. This one is a bit smaller than the other Spinosauruses that we have in our collection. But I still love these dinosaurs. Here is a super bright dinosaur. This is another Dilophosaurus with those crazy frills in the front. And look how bright this whole dinosaur is. This is like neon coloring. That is super cool. And it's got this button on the side. I think it's out of batteries, but you could hear sound effects normally on it. Here is another Triceratops with those huge horns in the front. And this one actually has different coloring than the other Triceratops that we opened at the beginning. This is brown on the sides and it's got that speckled blue on the top and even on the very front as well. You better watch out. Don't get in the way of those horns. Oh, look at this. We've got a few miniature Indominus Rexes. Look at this really small one. It's still super detailed. You can see all the spikes on its back and on its neck. It's super cool. And then this Indominus Rex has got some battle damage on its side. And the tail actually adjusts the neck so you can move its neck up and down for that chomping action. Look at this. We've got a few more baby Dilophosauruses. Uh-oh, this one's missing one side of its frill. But look at the difference in the coloring between these two. These Dilophosauruses may be small, but you'll still want to stay out of their way. They're super dangerous. Look at these. I believe these are Gallimimuses. And they both have different coloring. One is a brown orange color with the stripes on top, and the other is more of a blue gray color. And instead of like actual stripes, it has just a more solid darker blue on the top. And they're both quite adjustable. Can move the arms and the legs and the necks up and down. Oh, I see some of my favorite dinosaurs in here. Quite a few of them, actually. These are the mighty Velociraptors. And look at all the different ones that we have. This one is like a darker green color and it's posed as if it's sneaking along. Look at that, sneaking along the ground. This one actually has a few different colors on it. It's got the brown on the top, it's got the tan on the sides, and a little bit of uh, speckled white right on the sides there. And this one actually has a slashing action. So you can slash those claws back and forth. And then our final two raptors in the bin have even more colors. This is a brighter green velociraptor with the green striping on the top. And this one is like a yellow color, comes with the battle damage, and it's got the brown on the very top as well. These Velociraptors are so cool. Oh, you know what? I think I actually missed one more Velociraptor. Better watch out, this one's sneaking up on ya. All right, just a few dinosaurs left. Here we've got a baby Triceratops still with those huge horns on the front right there and it comes with the battle damage on the side and then we've got this unusual looking dinosaur this is called a minmi and look at all that armor i think that's armor or those are spikes along its top but i would not want to try to attack this dinosaur that would probably hurt and our last two dinosaurs of the bin over here we've got a flying pteranodon look out it's coming to get you. And right here, we've got a baby T-Rex. Look at that. And it's got that chomping action as well.
welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a huge collection of Jurassic World Apex Predators, meaning that they are at the top of the food chain. And I've actually got a brand new Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Jurassic World Legacy Collection that we're gonna open up first. Here is the brand new T-Rex and the baby T-Rex. I already have one of these T-Rexes, but I think this is the first of the green T-Rex that I have. So I'm super excited to check this one out. As you can see, most of its body is a dark green color. It's got the lighter underbelly and it's got the black detailing right along the top. And it's about as adjustable as my other T-Rex figures. So you can move the ankles, you can move the legs into different positions, move the tail around. And then the neck, you can also move around so it can look in different directions. And of course, there's the button at the top of its head for the chomping action. This is a really cool looking figure. And I'm sure that the T-Rex is one of the best known apex predators. Here we've got a dinosaur that you can't find in real life, but I'm sure it would be an apex predator if it was real. This is the Indominus Rex, and this is one of the big figures. You can see that it's pretty adjustable. You can move the legs into different positions, and that causes the dinosaur to look up and down. You can see it moves its neck back and forth like that. This figure also comes with the two action buttons, one for the chomping, and then one on the back for the slashing action. This is another T-Rex. This one is mostly brown. It's got the dark brown on the top, lighter brown on the sides, and then a tan on the bottom. And this T-Rex figure has a tearing action, actually. So when you press this button on its back, it tears just like that. And there's also a second action button that swings the tail back and forth. Here is a Carcharodontosaurus with blue coloring on its body and the orange and brown detailing on the top. This also has one action button for chomping. <laughs> Plus, you can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail as well. Next up, we've got two Endoraptors. And obviously, these dinosaurs aren't from real life, but if they were, I can guarantee you that they would be an apex predator. I just remember them from the Jurassic World movie. These were some of the most feared dinosaurs. This first Endoraptor is a more basic figure. You can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail, but you can adjust the neck or open and close the mouth. But on this second Endoraptor figure, this one is super adjustable. It's got a bunch of points of articulation. Again, it's a double jointed tail. You can bend the knees, you can bend the ankles. You can adjust the arms fully, and you can open and close the mouth, too. Right over here, we've got two Sucomimuses. This one is a blue with yellow detailing, and this one is yellow with brown detailing on the top. This one has two action buttons, one for chomping and one for the tail. This Sucomimus only has one action button that activates the jaw. Right up top here, we've got a smaller figure, but still a fearsome predator. This is a Baryonyx. It's got the green sides and belly and the brown top. The arms and legs can articulate and move around, and there's an action button on its back for chomping. Back here, actually, we've got another Baryonyx. This one has a brown body and sides with a dark gray-blue coloring on the top and the bright orange detailing right on the top of its face. And just like the other figure, the legs and the arms can move too. Here is an older Jurassic World figure. You can see that this is another T-Rex. It's got the full tan body, and on its head it's got some gray detailing. It's got those yellow eyes and an action button on its back to activate the jaw. Here we've got a newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. This is a Yang Truanosaurus. It's got the green body, a lighter yellow underbelly. It's got some brown detailing along the top and then that bright orange piece right on its head. This figure is pretty adjustable with its arms and its legs. You can see that moving the legs dips its head down like that. And the tail controls the jaw and can move the neck around too. Back here is another newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. This is a Scorpio Venator. This figure has an orange belly and sides. It's got some white detailing right along the top and a dark gray blue color right along the top of its head. This figure is fairly adjustable. You can move the arms and the legs. And when you push down on its legs, it does a chomping action. This one is another T-Rex. 
This T-Rex though is the Battle Damage Edition. It's got the button on top that you can use to turn on and off the battle damage which is a pretty awesome feature. This figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the ankles, can move the legs up and down. The tail only has one joint in it though, but the neck of this T-Rex is really adjustable. You can have them look in all directions and you can open and close its mouth really easily. This is a Carnotaurus figure. It's got the clay red body with the darker detailing spots on the sides and the brown right along the top. You can see that the Carnotaurus has a lot of bumps and ridges in that spine right there as well. And with this figure, the tail controls the head and there's a button as well to open and close its mouth. Here's another newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. And I think this is one of my favorite newest dinosaur figures. This is the Ragasaurus. This figure also has a chomping action when you press down on the legs and you can adjust its arms, its legs, and even twist its tail around a little bit. I love this dinosaur's head. You've got the horn right at the top and you've got this really cool smaller spine right on its neck, these spikes. It's really cool. Here we have another very well-known apex predator. This is a Velociraptor. This specific one is actually Velociraptor Charlie from the Amber Collection. So this figure is very adjustable. It can move all the different parts of its arms and legs and you can adjust its head quite a bit as well too. And it's even got this headpiece right behind its face too. This is another ginormous T-Rex, and this T-Rex is pretty adjustable as well. As you can see, you can move the arms up and down, you can adjust the leg position, and instead of moving the neck and face up here, you actually can control it with the tail by swiveling it. This is another Velociraptor from the Amber Collection. This one is Velociraptor Echo. This Velociraptor has the light brown coloring as well as the dark black right on top. And just like the other Amber Collection Velociraptor, it is very adjustable on all different parts of its body. You can even move the claws on its feet up and down. Back over here, we've got a smaller Indominus Rex figure. This is an older Jurassic World figure. It's got the battle damage on the side that you can open and close. And this figure is fairly adjustable as well. You can move the legs a little bit, you can move the arms just a bit, and the tail controls the mouth and the neck too. We've got a few more awesome looking Baryonyxes in here. This first one has a slide action for different roaring sound effects. And this Baryonyx doesn't have any buttons on it, but you can use the tail to move the head around. Right over here is a well-known predator from Jurassic World. Once again, it isn't a real dinosaur, but I can guarantee this would be an apex predator. This is the Scorpios Rex. This figure has two action buttons on its back, one for the mouth, and one for the claws. And the rest of the figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the legs quite a bit and you can adjust the neck to have it look around. And the tail is spring-loaded too, so you can fling the tail back and forth with those poisonous quills. Back here is a huge water dinosaur that I'm sure you recognize from the first Jurassic World movie. This is the Mosasaurus. This figure is ginormous. It's got a dark blue body on the top and then a white underbelly. And all over its body, you can actually see these like white specks, a little bit of detailing. And there's a few things that you can move on this figure. You can move the fins around, you can swivel the tail back and forth, and you can open and close the jaw, which is a pretty big jaw, I'd say. Probably fit a few small dinosaurs in there. Ah, here's another popular apex predator. This is the Spinosaurus. Did you know that the Spinosaurus is the largest known carnivorous dinosaur that existed? These were even bigger than T Rexes. This figure has an adjustable tail, the legs are pretty movable, as well as the ankles. You can move the arms up and down, and you can actually adjust the neck quite a bit as well, too. Here is another awesome T-Rex Predator. This looks to be very similar as the first T-Rex that I unboxed in this video, but with different coloring. See, it's got the brown body and the darker brown on top. And just like the other T-Rex, adjustable tail, move the legs and the arms, and you can move the head around too. 
Here's another dinosaur from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Quetzalcoatlus. I didn't really know how big these dinosaurs were until I saw them in the new Jurassic World movie. These things were huge and they took down that plane. This is a Ceratosaurus. I think we actually have another one with different coloring. This one is a dark green color with black detailing on the top. And this one is a light gray with red and a darker gray detailing on the top as well. And they both have that slide action button for different sound effects and different roars. I think the sound effects are the same though. This one's an interesting looking dinosaur. This is a Cryolophosaurus. Look at that interesting crowning on the top of its head. This Cryolophosaurus has a dark blue body with white, red, and bright orange detailing. And you can move the arms, you can move the legs, and you can use the tail to move the head around. Here is another mighty Carnotaurus, the red side and the dark, it's almost like a purple color on the top. This dinosaur has an adjustable tail and adjustable legs and arms. And there's a button on the top for the chomping action. Ah, here's a species I don't think we've seen in this collection yet. This is an Allosaurus. It's got the dark green body with the red and white detailing. See, it's got those spikes right along its spines up top. And you can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail. And it's got the slide action button for different roars and chomps. This bright red dinosaur is a Metriacanthosaurus. It's a pretty interesting looking one. It's smaller than most of the other figures. It's got the bright orange detailing on the top of its head and the action button on its back for chomping. Next up, we've got, I believe, a Majungasaurus. This is a super colorful dinosaur. It's got the dark green, yellow, and blue on its neck. It's got those teal eyes. And like many of the other dinosaur figures, you can use the tail to move the head and neck around. This is an Albertosaurus with the Battle Damage Edition. As you can see, it's got two different types of battle damage. One that's right there on the top of the plastic and one that you can actually open up. This has the stomach and a ribs that you can close down and then the skin that you can do to cover all of the battle damage. That's pretty cool. The rest of the figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the legs, arms, and tail as well as the neck and you can open and close the mouth manually. Over here is the Carcharodontosaurus with a blue body and orange and brown detailing. Look at all those spikes right along its spine too. It's interesting how they're all different heights. With this figure, you can move the arms, legs, and tail, and there's an action button on top for chomping. Here is another Allosaurus with different coloring and different actions too. Check out those spikes right along its spine. You can see the two action buttons right here, one for the mouth, and one for the arms. And I think we actually have one more Allosaurus in here with different coloring. This one is gray with yellow detailing. You can only move the arms and legs in this figure aside from the action button on its back that controls its mouth. Right over here is another Albertosaurus. This figure is about medium sized and it does not have any battle damage like the one we saw earlier but it's still pretty adjustable. You can move the arms, the legs, and you can use the tail to control the face. Here is another Carnotaurus. This one is a newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. As you can see, it's got the broken horn in the front, and this figure is smaller, but pretty adjustable. You can move the legs, the arms, twist the tail, and you can move the head and jaw around too. Here are a few small Dilophosaurus figures. This first one is mostly gray with red detailing and an action button on the tail that activates the frills. The second one is a bit more brightly colored. It has a green body and two different tones of orange, as well as the action button to activate the frills. And last but not least, we've got a bunch of smaller Velociraptor figures. Oh, actually, 
This is another baby T-Rex, just like we saw at the beginning of the video. But the rest of these figures are all Velociraptors. So let's check them out one by one. First, we've got the tan and brown Velociraptor. This one has a slashing action, spring-loaded torso. So it swings back and forth. This Velociraptor has a brown and yellow body with battle damage that you can open and close on the side. This next Velociraptor has a red and dark purple body, and you can move the arms, legs, and tail, as well as the mouth, but there's no special features on this figure. And these last two figures are similar in movement, but with different coloring. It's got the blue body with the yellow and gold coloring. This one has a dark brown color with orange on the top. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.